Hello everyone. Welcome to English Tutorials by Poonam Thakur. In this video, I am going to discuss about notice writing, its format and important points to remember while writing notice or notices. So I will be explaining in Hindi and English both. Now we will discuss what is notice and why it is important. So let me read the definition first. A notice is a formal means of communication used by individuals and organizations to convey information about functions, events and occasions or announce something that has happened or is about to happen. So notice is a formal means to communicate uh, to news to people. Uh, individually bhi aap de sakte hai, or organizations also they use notice uh, writing to convey the information to cater to the larger audience uh, related to koi bhi function jaise school mein organize hota hai, events organize hote hai, annual function sports day debate declamation poetry recitation competition or any sports meet and society if the society people wants to convey something to the you know members of the society to notice likhte hain aur notice ko notice board pe pin up karte hain so that zyada se zyada log usko dekhe aur padhe aur notice convey karta hai ki ya to kuch hua hai uske bare mein information or something is going to happen ya kuch jo future mein organize hone wala hai isliye hum notices use karte hain to convey the information notice ke different parts hain so, notice ke three parts hai, format, content, and expression. Format it includes the name of the organization, the word notice, date, heading, writer's name, and designation. And content is must answer the question ki kaun sa function hai, kaha pe hai, kab hone wala hai, aur kaun organize karne wala hai. Expression me aata hai ki aapne aapne jo views hai, or overall aapne views ko kaise. Uh, arrange kiya hai whether they are systematically arranged or subse important part hai whether they are grammatically correct or not the grammatic accuracy jo hai wo sabse zyada important hai a division of marks hai format is uh, for one mark content is for two marks expression is for one mark so notice is overall four marks question Now let's discuss the format of a notice. An effective notice will usually include the following. Subse upar hum issuing authority ka naam likhenge aur saath mein place mention karenge. Our issuing authority hota hai the organization or the office which is releasing the notice. And after that on very next line aap jahi to ek line chhod sakte hain uske baad. Otherwise, immediately after writing the name of the institution and place, next line you will write word N O T I C E. Capital letter me likhenge. Ye baat aapko dhyan me rakni hai ki jab bhi aap word notice likhenge, wo hamesha block letters me hi hoga. Uske baad vari aati hai ki date kaha likhe. So according to latest CBSC format, date ham hamesha left hand side pa likhenge. Or date, just then we have notice lick rahe hai, us din ki date mention karenge. That means if your examination is on uh, 1st March, so you will put that date 1st March 2000 XX, whatever year it is. After a date, we will write heading or caption in the middle. Heading jo hai, wo eye catching honi chahiye. It should indicate the purpose for which it has been written, like calling a meeting, drawing attention, making an appeal, or informing journal public, etc. Heading ko dekhte hi pata chal jana chahiye ki notice kis baare mein hai. Taki zada se zada log usse padhe, usse kya faida hoga, usse hamara jo motive hai notice likhne ka, wo successful ho jayega. After writing eye-catching heading or title, we come to very important part of notice writing, that is body of the notice. Content me kya kya aega? A well written notice must inform the readers about what, when, where, who, and whom. That is, what is going to happen, where will it take place, 
when will it take place who can apply or is eligible to attend whom to contact or apply to agar hum simple language mein baat kare to notice ki body uska content hame batata hai kya hone wala hai kahan hone wala hai kab hone wala hai kaun kaun is program ya event ko attend kar sakte hain अगर आपको और कोई जानकारी चाहिए या यू रिक्वायर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन तो आपको किससे बात करनी है इन बॉडी वी विल इंक्लूड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ओनली एंड वी विल यूज शॉर्ट एंड ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट सेंटेंसेस प्लीज इंश्योर दैट वर्ड लिमिट हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व एंड ऑल द वैल्यू पॉइंट है इंक्लूडेड आफ्टर दैट ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड बिलो द बॉडी ऑफ नोटिस वी विल पुट सिग्नेचर्स ऑफ द इशूंग अथॉरिटी फॉलोड बाय द नेम and the designation of the authority so below the body of the notice us vyakti ke signature aayenge jisne ye notice likha hai followed by full name of the person issuing the notice and his designation sabse important baat jo aapko yaad rakhni hai that after completing your notice you have to enclose it in the box बॉक्स जो है वो फॉर्मेट का पार्ट है इफ यू फॉरगेट टू मेक अ बॉक्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू विल लूज मार्क्स सो यू हैव टू इंश्योर दैट जब आप नोटिस कंप्लीट करते हैं तो आप उसको बॉक्स में इंक्लूज करेंगे सो दैट इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ नोटिस राइटिंग लेट्स डिस्कस द फॉर्मेट ऑफ अ नोटिस वंस अगेन so on the top line we will write the name of the organization or institution issuing the notice and uh, usually we write in capital letters only and we have to mention place also after that if you want to leave line you can leave line and then you will write the word notice n o t i c e and the word notice is always written in capital please remember that okay and the more after that we will write date so the most preferred place for writing the date of notice is on the left hand side between the notice between the word notice and the heading okay and how we are going to write the date first we are going to write day month and then year suppose if your examination is in the month of march and first march so you will write first march 2000 xx or whatever year you are appearing after date is done we have to focus on heading and heading or uh, is you know you should write a heading which is really catchy and heading will introduce the subject of the notice after heading is done you will start writing the notice that is the main body of the notice so and it will include date time venue Uh, and of course usually it ends with for further details please contact the undersigned so the after providing the information on left hand side of the body below the body of the notice on left hand side uh, the person will put the signature the one who is writing the notice followed by his name and then designation once it's done then you have to close your notice within the box because box is also a part of the format so don't you ever forget to enclose your notice within the box and make sure that uh, you are following the word limits and uh, normally notice is written in complete sentences but sometimes you know in complete sentences and phrases may be accepted as exceptions please keep this in mind and choice of tense will depend on the nature of the notice that is in a notice announcing an event future time references will be used more than any other uh, tense forms remember to draw a box at the last let's discuss few examples now and i'm sure they will definitely help you to write more effective notices So the first example is your school is organizing a tour to Rajasthan during winter vacation write a notice giving detailed information to the students you are Rahat Rohini president of excursion club St Columbia's senior secondary school Palampur so if you notice half of the answer is given in the question only 
name of the institution is there place is there the person who is going to write the notice his or her name is there and designation is also there so we have to invent just few minute details and then our notice is done so let's start with our notice uh, let's start our notice now so according to format the very first thing that we write is the name of the organization issuing the notice so if you see name of the school is already given in the question so we are going to write that saint columbia's senior secondary school comma palampur once that is done we will leave one line and then we will write the word notice remember that the word notice is always written in capital letters and now the notice is done next step is to write the date the most preferred place for writing the date of notice is on the left hand side between the word notice and the heading aur ab hum date kaise likhte hain pehle hum day likhenge then hum month likhenge and then year to day wohi day likhenge jis din aap notice likh rahe hain so suppose agar aapka exam jo hai wo 5th march ko hota hai to aap likhenge 5 march 20 and whatever year it is you will mention the year so after writing the date on next line you will write the heading as you know the heading introduces the subject of the notice aur hamesha heading jo hai wo attractive aur catchy honi chahiye according to the question it's a tour so we can write trip to rajasthan or tour to rajasthan or excursion to rajasthan after writing the heading हम एक लाइन छोड़ेंगे ताकि नोटिस हमारा नीट लगे और एग्जामिनर को भी फॉर्मेट क्लियरली विजिबल हो आफ्टर दैट विल स्टार्ट विद द बॉडी ऑफ द नोटिस लेट सी नाउ द एक्सकर्शन क्लब इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग अ वीक लॉन्ग टूर टू राजस्थान ड्यूरिंग विंटर वेकेशन सो हु इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एक्सकर्शन क्लब ओके वॉट आर दे ऑर्गेनाइजिंग अ वीक लॉन्ग टूअर to which place rajasthan when during winter vacation so what when we are everything is clear the places to be visited include udaipur jaisalmer and mount abu traveling boarding and lodging will cost 15000 per head whenever we organize a tour that's for sure sabko pata hai ki agar koi organization ya school ya college या कोई इंस्टीट्यूट कोई एक्सकर्शन uh, ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहा है तो उसमें खाने पीने रहने और ट्रेवल करने के पैसे तो लगेंगे ही सो मेक श्योर जब हम अपना नोटिस एक्सकर्शन या ट्रिप के बारे में लिख रहे हैं तो वी हैव टू मेंशन द कॉस्ट आल्सो। आफ्टर दैट दो आर इंटरेस्टेड शुड कॉन्टैक्ट द अंडर साइंड एंड डिपॉजिट कैश बिफोर टेंथ डिसम्बर along with parents consent letter when minors are traveling it is important to submit the consent letter consent letter matlab parents ka permission letter hona bahut zaruri hai duly signed by them after the body of letter is done and we have conveyed everything what when where so we will now close our notice after the body is done on left hand side we will put the signature and who signatures will come the person who has written this notice so we have taken the name of the girl so rohini and then followed by her full name rohini singh and then designation president excursion club so this is our notice and once the notice is done we have to enclose it within the box बॉक्स बनाना ना भूलें टाइम एंड अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट जो बॉक्स है वो फॉर्मेट का पार्ट है अगर आप बॉक्स नहीं बनाएंगे तो यू विल लूज मार्क्स लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जांपल यू मस्ट हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट फर्स्ट एग्जांपल वाज इन पैराग्राफ फॉर्म 
So there are different ways of writing notices and that's up to you. Whichever way you find convenient to write your notice, you can choose that. Just follow the format of the notice. Now let's come to question number two. You are Mohit, school captain of Army Public School, Shimla. Write a notice informing the students of class 12th about a guest lecture by Dr. Karthik Singh on the topic COVID-19 prevention and control. It's more like a, in the form of, uh, you know, drafting a card and everything is clearly conveyed also. So now we are going to write the name of the issuing authority, which is given in the question only Army Public School and places Shimla followed by the word notice in capital and then we will write the date on left hand side, which will mention the day, month and year. After that, we will write the heading, heading of the notice, which will convey the what exactly is the subject. Okay. After that, in the body, like we have target group over here, it's particularly for student of class 12th. So all the students of class 12th are hereby informed that there will be a guest lecture on what? On COVID-19 prevention and control. And what is the purpose of uh, having this lecture? To create an awareness amongst students. And what is the schedule? As per the following details, date 20th June and of course day is also mentioned and time is 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Venue is school auditorium and resource person is Dr. Karthik Singh. Attendance of the class 12 student is compulsory. That's it's mandatory for class 12 students to attend the lecture. For further information, contact the undersigned. Or if you want to mention, you can mention that they have to come in a proper uniform and they have to maintain the discipline or a few minute details if you want to add from your site. But remember, we have to follow the word limit. Once the body is done, just below the body on left hand side, the signature of the person who's writing the notice uh, will come. And after that, the name of the person and then the designation. Once everything is done, the notice is done, format is properly done. We have to enclose our notice within the box. As you know, box is a part of format. I have uh, included another question in just in case uh, uh, if you are still doubtful and uh, I have not solved or able to clarify your doubts regarding how to go about it, how to write a you know impressive notice. So this is the another question we are going to discuss. You are Vandita of class 12th. As the cultural secretary of your school, draft a notice for an inter-school dramatics competition. Let's concentrate on question first. So name of the organization is not given, but the name of the person is given and she's class 12 student and designation is cultural secretary. Now the name of the school is not given, so we can, you know, write any fictitious name. And uh, we have to draft a notice. And what is the event? Inter-school dramatics competition. So few things are already given and few we have to write from our site. Let's start with uh, a fictitious name uh, of the organizing uh, authority or a school. Suleka Memorial Public School. Or you can write any other school. Sunshine Public School, comma, Delhi. So name of the organization is mentioned along with the place. After that, the word notice in capital letters. And after notice, the very next line on extreme left hand side, we will mention the date. After date and what exactly is the, you know, heading, what is the event. So we'll write that inter-school dramatics competition. So our heading is also done now. And now let's uh, see the body. An inter-school dramatics competition is being organized on 12th February at Tagore Theatre. So date is mentioned, right? When? 12th February, where? Tagore Theatre. 
those willing to take part in the items which our school will be presenting should come for selection on 1st february 20xx at 12:30 pm so the time of audition is given date is given and where venue is in the assembly hall only class 6 to 12 students are eligible for whom 6 to 12th student dresses should be arranged by the participants if they want to participate and if they are selected they have to arrange their own costumes with this the notice the body of the notice is done after that as you know signature name of the person who has written the notice that is vandita it's given in the question cultural secretary as the designation is also given and after that we have to close our notice within the box i hope your doubts are clear now let's discuss the important points once again capital letters must be used for writing name of the organization and place the word notice is always written in block letters the most preferred place for writing the date of notice is on the left hand side after the word notice the signature of the issuing authority appears on the left hand side below the body of the notice followed by name and designation of the person choice of tense will depend on the nature of the notice for example in a notice announcing an event future time reference will be used information must be presented clearly adhere to the word limit that is maximum 50 words present the notice within a box notice should give complete information and must be written in clear and lucid style and easy in language so all these points you have to remember students while writing your notice thank you for watching don't forget to give your valuable comments or if you require any further explanation or any other topic you want me to explain like share and subscribe english tutorials by punam thakur